Welcome back to Rock, Redeemer Online Church for Kids. Hey, I hope you've had a good week. We are rocking into the city again this week to see what's happening. Hey, it's a busy day here. One thing about the city I know is it is noisy. Wow, all the traffic, city workers, construction sites. Oh, maybe they're building another skyscraper. Fire engines going by. Wow. Hey, speaking of noise, here comes the fun bus with our game, City Sounds. Are you ready to play? Listen and just yell out the answer if you know it. Well, that was an easy one. A car horn, right? Okay, here's the next one. Ooh, did you guess a subway train zooming by? Yep, you got it. And how about this one? Yes, that was our fun bus. I know you've been on a bus before. It was putting on the brakes. Hey, I can't wait for next week's game. Now let's move on to our lesson for today. Remember, we're talking about everyday armor. That's the armor of God that we read about in Ephesians 6 in the New Testament. We can put it on each day to help us live like Jesus. Now, let's go into the city and see what Joe Miller, our reporter on the streets, is up to today. I hear she's going to be talking about something really yummy. Hey, let's tune in. Hey there, folks, I'm Joe Miller coming to you live each and every day as I take to the streets to give you all the deets. Today is going to be the most fun. We are going to meet Allison McCall. She's basically a world famous cupcake chef extraordinaire. Let's go get that story straight from the source. So excited to be here. Look at this deliciousness. Hey Joe, cool to have you in the kitchen with me today. I'm whipping up a batch of cupcakes right now. Okay, so the viewers want to know, how do you do it? Your cupcakes are all anyone wants to talk about and eat. Sounds like you want to try one. Here, help yourself. Oh yes, please. Okay, so tell us a little about yourself. I've always loved creating recipes and baking cupcakes, so I thought, why not start a YouTube channel? Hey guys, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. That's awesome. And I will say, after reporting the news for so long, I've learned you really need to be careful online. You can't just click on any old video. There's lots of stuff out there that we are not supposed to see. You're exactly right. When I was building my channel, I had to be really careful with what I clicked on. Sometimes things weren't what they said they were gonna be. As a tip for everyone watching, always ask an adult to help when searching the web. And if you have a bad feeling about something or see anything that seems wrong, let them know right away. You are so right, Allison. Internet safety is extremely important. So tell us more about your channel. Well, I wanted to create a channel where anyone and everyone could follow along and make cupcakes of their very own. After making a few videos, I noticed I was getting a lot of comments and shout outs from the viewers. Most of them were really great, but some of them were not so nice. Who could say anything bad about these amazing cupcakes? Well, a couple viewers started leaving comments saying I wasn't good at baking and that none of these recipes were actually mine. Well, please tell us that you didn't believe what they were saying. For a minute, I did, but then I realized I had to replace their lies with God's truth. You see, the devil was using tricky people to come against me, hoping that I would listen and stop doing what God made me to do. Well, it sounds like you had to put on the belt of truth for that one. That's exactly right. I know it's important to put on the full armor of God every single day. And the piece of armor that helped me the most was the belt of truth. 
The belt of truth helps all of us believe the truth that God says about us. And it sounds like it helped you so much with those mean comments. It totally did. Now my YouTube channel has tons of subscribers and is a huge success. And I even have a real bakery of my very own. So people can watch my show to learn how to make cupcakes or just swing by and pick one up right here. Best of both worlds. I love it. Well, I am so glad you used the belt of truth. If you would have believed those lies people said about you, we wouldn't be enjoying these tasty treats today. Thanks for letting us visit. Stop by any time. There will always be a cupcake with your name on it. Yes, thanks. Well, that's it for us today. Join us next time for Joe on the Go. I can't wait to see who we will meet next. Hey, thanks, Joe. I love finding out more about the people who use their everyday armor to make the city a really special place to be. Wow, Allison's cupcakes look delicious. Look at this one. I'm going to save it for later. Hey, you know what we're going to do now? Let's talk about some of the things that Joe and Allison said. Do you remember what piece of armor Allison told us was really important to her? Yes, she said she puts on all of God's armor each day, but the piece that is important to her in her job is the belt of truth. We need to wear the belt of truth because there are a lot of lies and tricks out there and the enemy would love for us to believe him. When we wear the belt of truth, we can separate what God says is true from the lies of the devil, and we can stand strong against them. What can we read to learn what God says is true? The Bible! Of course, the Bible. But you know, sometimes it's that yucky feeling in your stomach telling you that what you are seeing, hearing, or doing just isn't right. That feeling is God's way of helping you know that you need to put on the belt of truth. That's called your conscience. God's armor is not real armor like a knight might wear, but it's a picture of what He gives us to make us strong and give us His power. Even though we can't see God's armor, we can put it on every day. Remember those symbols we saw for God's armor last week? Let's look at them again. How many were there? Yes, you're right, six. The first piece of armor is the belt of truth. Then there's the armor of godliness, the good news boots. We need the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit. When we put on the armor of God, we'll be able to stand strong against any evil that comes our way. The devil may try to trick us and lie to us. That's why it's important to make sure we've got on our belt of truth. That's what we're learning about today. So stand up with me and let's say our need to know. Are you ready? Put on the belt of truth. Say it with me. Put on the belt of truth. One more time. Put on the belt of truth. Good. Hey, do you remember the song we sang last week about God's armor? Hey, it's time for us to sing it again. Let's stand and sing together. Come on, everybody. Got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Things first, you got the bell to truth. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. 
The armor of God and the shield of faith Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one Put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God can stand, stand, stand against every evil plan, plan, plan. Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong. He has won. I put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. I put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. I put on singing. I love that song. Hey, I was singing it in the shower the other day. How about you? Ooh, have a seat now. Like the song says, we're talking about putting on the full armor of God. Because like Joe said earlier, there are some really tricky people out there and we need to know how to spot lies and remember God's truth. Let's check out our Bible story now. Even though you can't see it, there's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. Since the beginning of time, God has been fighting for people to know who he is and how much he loves them. When God created the world we live in, there were two people named Adam and Eve. They lived in the Garden of Eden, and they were friends with God. God gave Adam and Eve everything they needed and told them that they could eat anything growing in the garden except for the food growing on one tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God warned Adam and Eve that if they did eat from that tree, they would die. The Bible tells us that Adam and Eve had a very real enemy who wanted to twist that truth into a major lie. Their enemy was the devil, and because the devil can take on many forms, he came as a sneaky, sneaky snake. The snake came to Eve and asked her what God said about the fruit in the garden. Eve told him that God said if she ate from the tree, she would die. But the snake convinced Eve that that was a lie. He said, you won't die if you eat the fruit. You'll know things that you've never known before. Eve listened to the snake's lie and got distracted from the truth. Not only did Eve eat a piece of fruit, she also gave some to Adam. Right away they realized they had done something wrong. God punished them because of what they had done and made them leave the garden where they had been living. Adam and Eve chose to believe the lie that the devil told them over the truth that God had for them. At that moment, evil and death entered the world and we're still battling them today. When we remember God's word, we put on the belt of truth. It is the part of God's armor that gives us the power to stand up against the lies that come our way. So when we hear things like, no one loves you, or you'll never be enough, we can know those are lies. God loves us, and because of that, he's given us all the tools we need to fight the enemy and win. With the belt of truth, we'll be able to detect lies and overcome them with God's powerful truth. We can put on the belt of truth. That story is important, friends, because it helps us understand that the enemy will do anything he can to make us believe his lies. God has given us everything we need to fight the devil and defeat him. I'm thankful for the belt of truth. We find truth in God's word. It tells us who he is, what he says, and how much Jesus loves us. When we know what God says, we'll be able to spot when the devil is lying to us. Now, let's talk about what it looks like when you put on the belt of truth in real life. Hey, here's my friend Maisie and how she uses the belt of truth in her life. Maisie is a kid just like you. Maisie tries her best to put on each piece of God's armor every day. As you can see, she's using her phone and today it's especially important that she has on the belt of truth. 
that's because a girl in her class just sent her a really mean text. That text said some hurtful and not true things about Maisie. Because Maisie has on the belt of truth, she can remember what God says about her and know that the text is not true. Maisie knows that she needs God's armor in order to stand strong every day. Just like Maisie, you can put on the belt of truth too. When we put his full armor on, the enemy doesn't stand a chance. Okay, now we're going to put on God's armor together. Here, check this out. Every day, I will wear the full armor of God. I put on the belt of truth so I can fight the devil's lies. I put on the armor of godliness to protect my heart and do what's right. I put on the good news boots so I'll be ready to show God's love all day. I hold up the shield of faith to block anything the enemy sends my way. I put on the helmet of salvation so I'll remember God will always love me. I use the sword of the spirit because God's word is my best weapon against the enemy. Now. I stand firm and pray. You know, just hearing about God's armor makes me want to pray for us, that we can be strong. So bow your heads with me and let's pray together, friends. Dear God, we thank you for your armor. Help us put it on every day so we can be strong and know about your power. Thank you for the belt of truth that helps us Fight the devil's lies, and thank you that you love us every minute of every day, God. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, let's end with our scripture verse. I hope that you're working on it at home. Maybe you can print it out and put it on your fridge so you can practice. Let's go. Hey, I can't wait to see you next week for some more time in the city where we can learn new things about God together. Who oh, gotta catch the bus. I hear it now. Let me, oh, bye guys.